Hello, hello, veggie fam. It's your girl, Ashley of Fred Bliss Veggies, coming to you with another Test Tuesday. And this week, I'm gonna try the tiny mic method. Y'all let me know if you prefer this or if I should just continue doing it how I was doing it without the mic. But anyway, <laughs> you clicked on the thumbnail because that's why we're really here. You clicked on the thumbnail so that we can do a solid review on a black-owned company. Um, Chef Chew is behind it, and it is called Better Chew Smokehouse Beef Ribs. Yes, so you know, I enjoy a good rib, honey. And with being vegan, you know, I'm always down to just give things a try. So let's see how this goes. And if this is your first time tuning in, thank you guys so much. This is how we do. We take a vegan plant-based product, we taste test it, we give a star rating, and we wrap up the video at the end because why spend that money, honey? Why spend that money, honey, if you don't have to? I'll do it for you. Also, shout out to all the Veggie Fam to stay up to date with me throughout the week. If you want to be a part of the Veggie Fam too, make sure to follow me here on all of my socials, honey. Yes, chat with me here. But let's get into this review because that's why you're really here, shall we? And boom. So here is a closer look. It is letting you know it's the Smokehouse Beefy Ribs. My bad, earlier I said beef and then say beefy. is beefy ribs, okay? Plant-based rib substitute. It's supposed to give you superior texture and taste, honey. So I'm excited for that. Vegan approved, okay? Now let's get into the bag so we can get these top five ingredients. What I love most about this is that look at how small the list is. You can visibly see it for yourself, but I'm just gonna break it down. It's mostly, it has that non-GMO soybean, so given soy, soy protein, okay? Water, calcium sulfate, soybean oil, and nutritional yeast flakes, which I think will give it some like cheesy, okay? And then you see the rest, okay, with the spices. Now for the nutrition facts, I'm gonna stop saying nutritional. <laughs> the nutrition facts, you get 168 per serving, 391 per container, okay? And it says the serving size is about three ounces. And as far as the sodium goes, just letting you know, it's 348 milligrams, okay? So for all of you my, being mindful of the sodium intake, that's there for you, okay? Now, as far as cooking methods go, they have the stove top and the grill. Either way, I'm gonna let you guys know this in advance. Make sure to thaw this in the refrigerator. It says that, so if you're planning on cooking it like the next day, like I did in this case, I just put it in the fridge, okay? That way we're already ahead of the game, all right? And then I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see what it looks like, but I'm gonna go ahead with the stove top method and see what it's gonna give. So hold on, let me show you what it looked like. Okay guys, so this is what it kind of looks like. First, when you open it up, let me grab one out. Okay, it's pretty thick strips. Okay, so let's see what it tastes like because that's gonna be the game changer. Let's see. Okay, you guys, so here's a quick video of me just prepping it and cooking it. Honestly, there weren't much um, instructions <laughs> on how to like cook it or prep it or anything outside of just use one to three tablespoons of oil of your choice, cook it in a skillet, and then um, go ahead and just take it out and put sauce of your choice on there. And that's it. So that's pretty much all I did. And this is the result of what I got. Now I will say, ooh, now I will say it, the texture, you know, if y'all been watching me long enough, y'all know I'm a texture girl. So I am a little bit nervous at how soft it is, but we are gonna just give it a go, okay? We are gonna see what it gives. So let me get a little piece of it, okay? It's giving beefy, it's giving, it's giving beefy, but let's see how it tastes. Y'all know I always have to do a water break, so hold on. Okay, so let me break this down. Things that I love. I love that, one, honestly, I love that black people are getting into the vegan industry and trying to create these meat alternatives for us. So I don't ever not want to give shout outs and kudos there. So shout out to us for being able to do that, um, create space, come up with these cre creative ideas because yeah, I wouldn't have never thought or imagined I would see vegan ribs in a grocery store, let alone it be black owned. So kudos and shout out to him. 
Um, I do like that it's pretty much good portion, like a nice size portion. This was all of it that was in a bag. So, you know, you can have like two people, two servings out of it, which is solid. Um, and I do love that he did kind of leave it open to like your interpretation of how you want to prepare it. Although I do think we still need guidelines as the user. So I'm going to go ahead and slide into the love me knots. And I know that it's going to be a little bit more lengthy. And again, this is just my personal opinion. I'm always trying to create, um, to not only one, support black owned businesses at all times, but also, um, be mindful of how I go about these reviews. I'm really, you know, giving grace and stuff because it's really, really, really hard to have business. So I do want to give that disclaimer. Um, but for the things that I, the love me nots, I didn't quite like the texture of this. I didn't, I'm going to be completely honest for all of you that know me or have been seeing my videos. I'm a texture girl. And for me, it was just a little too spongy of a texture for me. Um, it was a lot of leftover liquid. So I don't know if we need to have parameters on the packaging to say how long to thaw this out or let it thaw out. I did it overnight, but maybe overnight is too long. Maybe it's only you let it thaw for an hour or two. I don't know, but maybe having that because it was a lot of liquid in it, maybe say squeeze out the excess liquid, but just in cooking, the texture just didn't, it didn't suffice for me. Um, yeah, I just really didn't um, get much taste out of it either for the, the cooking and the process. I do maybe even just saying cooking it maybe in the sauce and not necessarily like take it out then put the sauce on it too because i think it just left the, the sauce sitting on there i don't know maybe it's just me i need a few more instructions and details for how you ideally would want us to prepare it as a consumer um outside of that just keeping it that way um it wasn't a fave of mine but i would really love to see if they have other offerings under this because maybe this just wasn't for me the rib part but maybe it's other offerings from the company that i can give a try and and really just truly just see you know what i'm saying so with that being said and again trying to be mindful and respectful um i would give this a 2.75 stars out of five only it just wasn't a favorite of mine i don't want to give this business a two i don't um but a 2.75 that way it's like i love the idea i love where you're going but it just it's a couple of elements i think missing so sorry and again, I would love to try some of the other offerings that you guys offer. If you do, maybe just the vegan, the beefy ribs just isn't for me. But anyway, let's wrap up the video. Okay, you guys, it's the wrap up. What do we think? What do we think? Comment below. Would you give this product a try if you've tried it already? Let your girl know in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for tuning in with your girl Ashley of Fro Bliss Veggies, where we're always cooking up fresh greens on a daily. Again, here are all of my socials to stay up to date with me throughout the week. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.